Well, they're right here. This is my office, and I, I like having them at a desk I made. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I write them, and you know, people say, well, where do you get your ideas? Well, I've said this before, but I think the cartoonists of America did a great disservice to a lot of people. You know, in a cartoon, when they have an idea, a light bulb shows up, that's not how you get an idea. I mean, I sit down at my typewriter, my computer now, and I damn well decide to have an idea. That's how you get an idea. They do not strike you very often in the middle of the night or when you're doing something else. You have to focus and get to have an idea, and your mind scans whatever it is in your brain or whatever you have seen that day or that month or in your life, and it clicks on something, and you develop that into an idea. I, I, ideas are amorphous, but, uh, but you have to work on having one. They don't come just out of the blue. I have come in here, when I was writing those things for Gary Moore, five a week, ten minutes a day, he and Durward would start, they would just record them all on one day, and uh, I would still be typing the fifth one when they were recording the first one. I always work tight deadline. And I come in here, and sometimes when, when we're, we're, we have to have a piece, it does happen. Now, I guess it's happened more often recently as I get more falsely confident of myself that I haven't written a piece when I come in in the morning say on a Wednesday or Thursday morning, and I'll write it. And uh, it's remarkable how, for considering how experienced I am and how many of these things I've done, how bad one of them can be when I, when I first write it. Mm -hmm. I mean, absolutely undoable. And I'll, I'll show it to Susan Bieber or Keith Kulin, and they don't say this is terrible, but they must know it, but they have confidence in my recognizing it isn't very good either, and then I'll be able to pull it around and fix it. And so you pick away at it uh, un until I get it down to what I think it ought to be as far as the words and the ideas go. We don't pay too much attention to the time, and they very often go too long. A lot of them went three minutes this, this year, which is pretty long, longer than they usually want. Don says, I've only taken one idea from him in 25 years. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's not a very admirable element of my character, but I, I, I don't take ideas from anybody very well. Um, somebody will often suggest something, and I don't know why they just don't strike me. It's some perverse element in my character. I, I have, over the years, I was coming up in the elevator one day years ago, and people always say, why don't you do one on elevators? Well, I did. People are always suggesting ideas I've already done. But uh, he said, this woman said, why don't you do a piece on umbrellas? Well, I remember that stands out as a piece I took, an idea I took. And umbrellas are, are funny. And you know, start with the premise of how badly they're built, because the, the stick is right in the middle where you want to stand. Now, that's a bad design. So, but then <laughs> you true. got a piece about umbrellas. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I don't take many ideas. I, I really prefer to, to have my own. Every once in a while somebody has something that I build on, but not very often. Keith and Susie and I, the three of us go over, and we assemble a group in Don's office usually. Mike's a good audience. I like to have Mike come in there because if it's funny he always laughs. <laughs> and uh, so we sit with maybe six or eight people in Hewitt's office, and we screen our piece. And Don says, you know where you say, and I can't remember. I said, no, I don't remember where I said that. He has this brain. He can look at a piece of mine that, if it runs three minutes, he can pick out a sentence in the middle of it. Say, why don't you take that sentence and put it, you know where you say up at the top, put it right after that. And it works. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's weird sometimes. He, he can do this. Uh, I mean, people... People who met Don socially would not believe he could be so dumb. <laughs> they would not believe that he's the genius that he is in our business. Just brilliant. And, it, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. He, oh, gosh, he's so good at something. But then he, he, he'll, every once in a while, 
about as often as you'll throw it out, you'll say, yeah, I love that piece, fine, just the way it is. Often you'll ask for some little change, but he doesn't know what the piece is till he get there. People ask me if we clear it before. Absolutely not. I do the piece, I write it and do the piece, and he's got no idea what I'm coming in with.